what is sostenuto? It's an Italian word that means sustain, but it's really more complicated than that. Now, normally everybody knows what the sustain pedal does. On a grand piano, it's the rightmost pedal, and it'll hold notes that normally don't hold. And the leftmost pedal is the soft pedal, and most people know what that does. But a pedal gets softer. But the middle one, the sustenuto, that's the one where most people don't entirely know what it does. And it does different things on different pianos, and it definitely does something different on electronic keyboards and synthesizers. So we'll first start with the mechanical version. So in the mid 1800s, uh, they came up with this pedal, and basically what it does is it works like the sustain pedal, in which when you step on a sustain pedal, all of the dampers that are keeping the strings from ringing get pulled back. If you step on a sustenuto pedal, the one in the middle, what it does is it takes any dampers that are already pulled back and it holds them there. So in other words, anything you're already holding when you step on a sustenuto pedal keeps holding, but everything you play after that does not. So it's very handy on piano if you wanted to have a chord on the bottom. And I'll first start with a sustain pedal. If I did a chord and then played a lead, you're going to hear the lead gets all messy. All of that's still ringing. But if I do sustenuto and hold this chord, And now on your smaller pianos and your uprights, uh, you'll find that often that sostenuto pedal in the middle, what it does is it just keeps the dampers on the left side of the keyboard open so that those always ring and then the upper part does not. Uh, I don't have a way of simulating that here, but it would be like this. And that's always going and that is not, uh, but if you hit new notes down here, they would still ring. And so that's how it works on an acoustic piano. Um, on a digital piano, it works similarly. Uh, by the way, this is the Nord Stage 3 Hammer Action 88. I'm using the pedal that has the three on the bottom going into the sustain here. And on electric keyboards and synthesizers, sostenuto is more interesting because the notes that are being held via sostenuto are not decaying uh, if it's a sound that doesn't decay. So now I can play leads over something and not worry about the left side fading away. That also lets me have my left hand free to work the wheels and the knobs and things, so. So a lot of you probably already know that the sustain pedal in MIDI is CC number 64. The sostenuto pedal is CC number 66, and the soft pedal, if your keyboard responds to it, is CC number 67. So that means you can send sustain and sostenuto and soft pedal commands from an external thing if it can send those CC numbers. And again, of course, if your keyboard responds to that. Just look at the MIDI implementation sheet in the back of your owner's manual, or just look up the word sostenuto to see if it listens to it. If you have any further questions about the Nord Stage 3 or other Nord products, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much much for watching.